Shalom. First and foremost, call Loyum, Wakabala, Yahawah, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Arachach, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the awful elect tabernacle of David got throughout the four corners of the earth. And I want to do a quick lesson uh, addressing this uh, headline. This is from uh, End Time Headlines. Apocalyptic dust storm strikes Arizona hours before Burning Man Festival hosting Orgy Dome. And I showed you that this is a very pleasure seeking kingdom, you know, full of uh, very uh, wanton people, you know, people with no, uh, no morals, no self control, and got basically heavy demons on them now you would have thought that the uh the fag pox you know would have uh you know humbled them down but apparently even after you know several plagues and scourges you know they're not going to be mindful and they're going to continue in their wickedness which you know the prophecy said would happen you know they would not be mindful of the scourges you know they would not repent of their wickedness so uh, real quick, before I even, you know, uh, dwell off into it, because, uh, you know, as you can see from that screenshot, that was a pretty massive uh, dust storm, you know, that, that, that swept through there. All right, I think, uh, yeah, he put a, a, a video clip of it from uh, Fox 11. Let me play this real quick. Check this out now. A giant dust storm moved through southeastern Arizona yesterday. You're looking at time lapse of the dust cloud. That storm knocked out power to about 11,000 customers. The wall of dust delayed high school football games and halted traffic. It also came, as most of the valley, under an excessive heat warning. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Rogandino. Both All right, so you just seen that. That was pretty massive. All right, and uh, a sandstorm of that magnitude is, is definitely going to, uh, you know, do some damage. Um, you know, just as a, uh, like a, um, and what, what, basically there was an event that, uh, that happened back during the time of the Great Depression in the 1930s and I, I think I mentioned it in the, uh, the the previous live show we did this uh, past Saturday but to show you how you know things come full circle you know back then you had a um, a drought and they called it the uh, the dust bowl because there were several um, dust storms that was taking place throughout the Midwest and the South and um, it was causing the erosion of the soil and uh that resulted in um a bad drought and thus you know it caused a famine so food was ridiculously high and uh, people couldn't really afford it so there was uh you know dealing with economic woes and uh, around that time um this was between the, the the first world's war and the second world's war and uh you know things was uh bad and when you fast forward to today, what do you see happening? There's droughts. You know, the whole West is uh, in a drought. You know, severe um, weather patterns, you know, uh, heat waves. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, the food, which is even though it's all being engineered, a lot of the food is being affected. You know, all the uh, farmland has been bought up. A lot of uh, fields have been, been destroyed. A lot of um, food processing plants have been destroyed. And uh, we're dealing with uh, inflation, so we're 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 steering right down that same path of economic woes. All right, so these people are getting ready to feel the effects of that travail, but meanwhile, these people are still walking in blindness. They're blinded by the lust, all right, and and, and the pleasures, you know, that they're seeking to, that they're not that they're not even mindful of the scourges that the Lord is sending upon them. So that lets you know right there that, you know, the Lord, has, he, he has to, you know, step in and finally, you know, wipe this place out. All right. 
And 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 this right here can be an omen because ultimately the Lord's gonna He's gonna sweep this place. All right, like this dust storm swept through that that desert just uh, hours before this uh the uh, the botched festival where the Lord's gonna He's gonna sweep all of uh, America. Matter of fact, let me get a, a quick scripture on that. Because this place is is is, is it's extremely vile, man. Let's get a uh, Isaiah fourteen, and I believe it's the twenty third verse. And this is and this is dealing with uh, Babylon the Great. All right, America. Is Isaiah fourteen and twenty three? It says, "I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it." With the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. And when you look up that word besom, it basically means like a, a sweeping instrument, like a broom. All right. The word is uh, mata, marata. And it says a broom as removing dirt. All right. Compare English to dust, i.e. remove dust. So the Lord is going to ultimately sweep Babylon with destruction. And how is he going to do it? He's going to do it by thermonuclear fire. That's going to be the ult ultimate uh, dust storm the Lord's going to send upon his wicked place. All right. He's going to sweep it with the besom of destruction. All right. And this place that's been, you know, given to a uh, pleasure, you know, very uh, uh, pleasure. is a very pleasure seeking uh, society, man. Was that Isaiah 47 and 8? Isaiah 47 verse 8, it says, Therefore hear now this, thou that are given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. All right? That says in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. You know, very proud, man. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of, loss of children. You know, the attitude of a woman who thinks she'll never uh, not be protected, she'll never lose her children. You know, I was just speaking to the, the, the persona and attitude of this society, this kingdom. All right. Let's read it in the NLT real quick. It says, listen to this, you pleasure loving kingdom. All right. Just like Rome was a, a pleasure loving kingdom. It was all about uh, self-indulgence. It says living at ease and feeling secure. You say I am the only one And you're so used to that That's why even after uh, uh, Plagues going out Extreme weather uh, uh, happening Alright your, your, uh, your food supply Shortening up You're still going to go out there and get your freak on You're still going to go out there and, and, and Entertain yourself You know with these uh, Wicked festivities so that's how you know the Lord is eventually gonna, you know, catch these people like a thief in the night, in the night. Because even when he pops up, they're gonna, like it says in uh, Luke 17 and in uh, in Matthew 24, it's gonna be like in the days of Noah, in the days of a uh, Lot, they was eating and drinking and, and and marrying and giving in marriage until that day. We know what happened. You had the flood during the time of Noah, and you had the Lord rain fire and brimstone in the time of Lot. And these people, they're, they're, they still haven't learned those lessons. All right, it says, I am the only one and there is no other. I will never be a widow or lose my children. But what is the Lord going to do? But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of their sorceries. And for the great abundance of thine enchantments And what's going to come upon them In, in a moment, in one day That, that nuclear fire Alright, then you can read Revelation The 18th chapter and understand why it says Basically in, 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 in One hour Was this uh, uh, city thrown down Everything in it is going to be Wiped out Alright, it says for thou hast trusted In thy wickedness, for thou said None seeth me which the Lord, he sees everything. The eyes of the Lord are upon a sinful kingdom and he's going to destroy it off the face of the earth. And it first applies to Israel because that's the kingdom that he has his eyes upon. 
two thirds of them are going to be uh, cut off and die right here in this in this country, right here in Babylon. All right, none of your wickedness, none of your sins are hidden from his eyes. All right, it says, "Thy wisdom and thy knowledge that have perverted thee, and thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me." All right. So that's why the Lord is going to bring uh, total destruction on this place. All right, and let's jump down to verse 14. It says, Behold, they shall be as stubble, and the fire shall burn them. All right, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to uh, sweep sweep them with destruction. It's going to be a, 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 a firestorm. All right, it's going to be a, a, a tempest, a great tempest. All right. Right now you got the angels holding back those winds You know blow not upon the trees The, the, the grass The sea Until all of the servants of the, uh, the, the elect uh, Be sealed in their foreheads and Which you know that's more than likely already done Or, 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 or almost uh, done Alright it says They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame there shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Okay? And no, nothing's going to uh, be able to put it out. All right, like it says in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter. All right? Let me, let me see if I can find that. Let's go to 2nd Ezra 16. Because this fire won't be put out. You know, this uh, particular festival that they are uh, having is called, it was called, well, that they had, all right, called the Burning Man. You know, we know what, the, you ain't got to guess what that mean. Not in the sense of, you know, you being on on fire in flames, all right? No, burning in, you know, your, your uh, burning passion of lust, all right? And that's uh, what takes place at this uh, festival, all right, they have it right in the desert. Well, the fire that the Lord's going to bring, you ain't got to worry about nobody putting out that fire. All right. This is uh, 2 Ezra uh, 16. And uh, verse uh, 4 says, A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? All right. Ain't nobody going to be able to quench this. Because the smoke is going to go up, you know, for a long period of time, man. All right, uh, verse nine, it says, a fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, all right, light, uh, uh, laser beams, which is basically a rays of light. And who shall not fear? He shall thunder, who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? And that's what's going to happen on the day of the Lord. Okay. Especially when those uh, missiles uh, get to uh, destroying this place, it's going to uh, rattle the earth. It's going to shake it. The earth is going to be completely moved. It says, the earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. That's why it says in uh, Habakkuk, the third chapter, you know, were you angry with the, with, with the river? You know, were you? Yeah, everything is going to get shooken up. Because because the, hey, this is the the uh, the pinnacle of the Lord's anger being enacted on the earth, and that's going to be the final uh, judgment. All right, it says, and the fishers thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of His power, for strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow; His arrows that are, that He shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. And that's talking about the missiles that's going to be coming from Russia and all the. Uh, their allies that are assembled with them, the company of nations that are assembled with uh, Russia. All right, they're going to shoot over here and they're not going to miss. The Lord's going to make sure that when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. All right. So talking about uh, burning man or being burned in your lust, because that's basically what that's what that's going into. Well, this fire right here is not going to be put out. So you could you go you go and burn. But this is a different kind of burn. That day is going to burn as an oven. So anyway, 
Um, as you can see, you know, and I'm going to just read just maybe half of this. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But uh, this dust storm happened just a few hours before that uh, festival took place. And I'm going to just uh, read it. It says a raging dust storm turned an ordinarily blistering hot late summer day in Arizona into a surreal nighttime adventure Friday. Photographer Diego Salcido said the storm descended onto Queen Creek in minutes as he and his family were leaving a parking lot. There was dust everywhere. It went dark so fast, Salcido told Storyful. A line of strong monsoon-fueled thunderstorms formed well to the east of the Phoenix suburb that afternoon. As heavy rains fall from the storms, they can create tremendous downdrafts and that race out ahead of the storms, picking up sand and dust from the barren desert landscape along the way. And when these things uh, happen frequently, it causes drought and that uh, ruins your vegetation. It ruins your soil. All right, causing uh, famine. It, it contributes right to famine. And that's what happened during the time of uh, the Dust Bowl in the 1930s during the Great Depression. All right. So things are coming full circle. And there's also uh, a scripture on that because, you know, part of the curses, one of the one of the parts of the curses was that the Lord would actually do that to our land. If we uh, if we broke his uh, covenant, if we uh, didn't obey his voice. This is one of the things that he would uh, do. Uh, Deuteronomy 28. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 23. It says, And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. And that's uh, describing a, 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 a sandstorm and, and a dust storm. Let me see if I can... Uh, Get it in the GNT translation. Deuteronomy 28 and 24. And it says, instead of rain, the Lord, the Lord will send down dust storms and sandstorms until you are destroyed. And that's the treatment that, uh, you know, Babylon is getting right now with all these extreme uh, weather patterns. Right, you got, you know, major droughts, heat waves, dust storms. You know, it's, it's, it's usually, uh, you know, prevalent here in, on, the, on, the, on the West Coast, you know, really through these desert areas. You know, Nevada, Arizona, all right, so on and so forth. And then we coming into the time of our hurricane season. So a lot of damage is 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 uh getting ready to be done on this place. And this is just all part of the scourge of the Heavenly Father on this wicked place. But these people are so burning they lust, so blinded by it, that they're not even mindful of it. They don't even see that they're being snared in an evil time. But that's good because it's going to come upon them like a thief in the night. All right. So uh jumping down it says uh meanwhile this is what yeah I'm gonna start right here. It says meanwhile, merely hours later, the Burning Man Festival drew to a close this week, and eighty thousand exhausted revelers queued for hours to leave the party site. The notorious event set in Nevada's Black Rock made a very dramatic return three years after the pandemic. It has attracted its share of A-list celebrity fans over the years, including Elon Musk and Amazon chief Be Jeff Bezos, Will Smith, and more. So, so it even attracted these demons. So you already know what's going on. Cause how they party, uh, the, those uh, that that make that kind of money up top, man, they party like no other, and it's all kind of debauchery going on, all type of drugs being uh, used. All right, all type of alcohol, all type of uh, you know sexual activities, unseemly sexual activities, because you know, 
you know, though it was uh, both men and women there, you you better believe it was one of them kind of parties. All right, men with men, women with women. All right, and uh, Apostle Paul describes it. Uh, uh, you know, men with men working that which is unseemly, burning they lust one toward another. Let's get that in Romans uh, 1 real quick. And this was happening, this was prevalent in, in, in Rome. This happened in the Roman Empire. This is what they were uh, known for. That was the, the, the fashion of that world. Well, we're, we're in the, um, we're in the Roman Empire again. This is the, re the, the restoration of, of the Roman Empire. So, there's no new thing under the sun. They they were what they're doing today is no different than what they did back then. So this is uh, Romans one, and I'm gonna start at verse twenty five. It says, "Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who was blessed forever, Amen." For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. What does vile mean? It means uh you know very uh wicked. All right, very uh immoral all right something that's vile is morally morally uh despicable abhorrent all right foul immoral okay and that's what uh you know babylon is 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 full of vileness that's because the the the, the vilest man is exalted as esau this is his world so a lot of these people got that vibration on them. So they're, they've been given over to vile affections, vile passion. For even their women did change the natural usage unto that which is against nature. All right, which women are supposed to be with men. But, but you know what this society is all about. All right. It says, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one toward another. And this is a different kind of burn. All right, not, you know, the Richard Pryor being uh, lit on fire, running down the street, uh, burn, but burn as in, you know, burning your lust. All right. Extreme burning passion or, or desire. All right. Which is a which is a demon. All right. And, and, and usually people with demons like that, they can't control themselves. So in the midst of these plagues going out and these is extreme weather and knowing that your economy is uh is on a downward spiral or things are, are are going to shit, it's finna get real dire, but you just gotta get out there and get your freak on. You know? You just gotta indulge in all that revelry. Well, hey, that's that's Babylon. Okay? And that's what they're so used to. They're so used to uh, you know. Uh, self pleasure, self self seeking, you know, ple a, a pleasure seeking society. You know that's what it's all about, man. It says men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. All right, which normally it results in uh, you know, demons put on them. All right, where well, they they fall into a uh, depression, they they commit suicide, or they contract some uh. Deadly sexually transmitted disease Because that's against nature You're not supposed to do that Alright It's the reason why the Lord You know set it up You know in, 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 in the order that he has it Alright so that we can procreate So that we can multiply male and female You go against that It's not That's not progressive That's, that's regressive Matter of fact that's de self-destructive all right. So going back, you know, these little uh, festivals, these little uh, revelry parties, this is what they're indulged in. All right. They'll get on, uh, you know, drugs and they'll bring all type of contraceptives and alcohol and they indulge in it for hours. It says, and even though dust storms swept the desert before the occasion, free spirited attendees didn't let it dampen their spirits. They wore outrageous outfits in a nine-day festival, so they party for nine days. Letting loose and disconnecting from social media with hedonistic celebrations. At this year's event, which cost around 500 pounds to attend, festival goers were pictured driving around in their flashy vehicles under the hot Nevada sun. 
Some cooked pizzas in extreme heat, while others socialized and bopped along the jazz music. There were also opportunities to practice yoga, kick back in a hammock forest, or enjoy hypo hypnotherapy sessions. But other activities were much less wholesome. Many dressed up in armor bikinis, which were created in a costume workshop where attendees could construct their own futuristic kazis out of metal. Some even ditched clothes altogether in favor of body paint, which did little to cover their bare bodies. Yeah, it's just complete debauchery, man. Nothing, no morals. And, and, and I mean... When, when when society is 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 given to that level of debauchery, you know there's no point of uh, return. All right, that's what you call the sign of uh, basically decline. Moral moral decay is a sign of decline. All right, and, and, and Babylon been out of here for a while. All right, it's in its terminal stages, and it's just waiting on the most side to, to to put the finishing touches before he stump it all stump it out altogether. All right. Or before he sweeps it, it says some burners headed to the, the player, a section of the desert known for psychedelic fun for the 2022 event. There was a camp there called consensual abduction by climbing through a wormhole slide. Guests could gain access to all night raves on a neon lit dance floor. According to the gate, consent was pushed as a big theme at the Burning Man 2022 event. This is important considering the opportunities for revelers to engage in after hours group sex, frolic in communal showers and have a spanking great time at black light BDSM sessions. What the fuck, man? And let's not forget what goes down at the notorious or orgy dome. The orgy dome is a safe, consensual, sex positive, inclusionary and exploratory environment. We've heard plenty of debauch tales from this area of Burning Man including a story about a bloke who broke his rod during the action inside the dome. Multiple bodies writhe around on a mattress and soak in pleasure. So, yeah, the, the, and a lot of these type of events are common in, in, in this uh, area, all right, in the state of Nevada. All right, we know Sin City, Vegas, they host all type of events like this, man. So, and the Mosai, he sees it all. So, you can only imagine what the Lord is going to do to this place. But real quick, let me get a Romans 13, because, you know, these people do this, in, you know, because they're, they're of the day. I mean, it's like they're of the night. We, we're of the day. We're completely separated from this, this wicked uh, world. That's why the scriptures say, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All right, because the love of the world, you know, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. All right. If you love this world, the love of the most High is not in you. So this is uh, Romans 13 and 12. It says the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. All right. Which is this uh, this truth. Let us walk honestly. As in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness. And in these uh, festivals, that's exactly what it is. Is is you know, it's rioting. All right, the word is a uh, com, uh, comas, and it says a carousal, as if letting loose. And that's what they're doing. They're letting loose. All right, they get under influence and they let loose. All right, reveling, rioting. A revel, carousal, a nocturnal and riotous procession of have drunken and frolicsome fellows who after supper parade through the streets with torches and music in honor of Bacchus or some other deity. You know, which that, you know, that's a, a demon or a deity that, you know, they can indirectly be commemorating when they keep these uh, festivals because that's what they were doing in Rome. All right. It says, and sing and play before houses of male and female friends, hence used generally of feast and drinking parties that are uh, protracted till late at night and indulge in revelry. Nothing new under the sun, man. All right. And uh, during the revelries, they had uh, a lot of orgies going on. 
You see? Let me see uh, real quick. It says, lively and noisy festivities, especially when these involve drinking a large amount of alcohol. A lot of surfeiting. Yep, to take great pleasure or delight. And that's Babylon for you. All right. Uh, let me see something. Yep. Orgy, it says, wild or drunken festivity or revelry, especially involving sex with multiple participants. All right. Orgy, drunken revelry. So, there you have it. So, that's what they were doing. Alright, so... This is the type of behavior... We, you know... We stay away from. Alright? And, uh... You know, we don't have fellowship with the work... Uh, the, the, the works of darkness. But we reprove it. All right, and our people, they get caught up in this uh, behavior as well. You know, they're in the same spirit too. But we got to call them up out of it. And if they don't come out of it, the Lord's going to destroy them. All right? The scriptures tell us to, to, to be sober. All right, let's get uh, 1 Thessalonians. Yeah, 1 Thessalonians 5. And one, it says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves. Know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And that's why we're on our toes. We're constantly watching. That's why we're being circumspect. That's why we're trying to, you know, uh, examine ourselves, you know, trying to, you know, uh, trying to stay on the right path. Now sway to the left or to the right, man, fighting Satan, because we know that the Lord can come at any at any day. All right. And, you know, will he be pleased with you when you have to stand before him? So that's just something to consider. It said, and because these people, they, the most is not at all in their thoughts at all. They're not concerned at all. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them at travail upon a woman with child. And right now they still think because they got food, they got running water, which is all running up. All right, pretty soon they're going to end up in a situation just like uh, in Europe right now. All right, uh, very um, low on uh, uh, power, energy. All right, you're going to have power outages and in, in, the, midst, in the midst of uh, this extreme uh, weather, man. Your power go out in the winter. You ain't got nothing to, to, to uh, keep you warm. Your food uh, spoils in the refrigerator. It's going, it's going, it's going to come upon them, man. It says, "As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape." You ain't going to escape the the effects, man, the, the, the of the travail. All right, the, that 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 the birth pain that these other nations that are out there protesting and, and, and uh, rioting, they're feeling it. Pretty soon, them conditions are going to come over here. It says, "But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief." You are all children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. All these people that are in that party mode and a reverie mode, they're sleeping in the night. They're in darkness. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. All right. And this is extreme level... Uh, Wickedness, man, debauchery. And we know what the Lord did to uh, ancient Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring cities, man. All right. So, you know, the, the, the Lord, you know, he just uh, preserving this place. Let's get a uh, 
Second Peter uh, was at two. That Second Peter two and six it says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after shall live ungodly, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, their behavior. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust to the day of judgment to be punished. All right. And and all these people, that's, that's what they're here for. They're just reserved to be destroyed. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh of in the lust of uncleanness. All right, them festivities is full of uh, unclean lust and despise government. Presumptuous are they self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. So the, the Lord is going to just destroy this place. And all these people, they're they, they going to get their just due. All right. So, you know, they can burn all they want, but on the day of the Lord, is, is going to burn as 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 an oven, all right, and 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 they're gonna they're gonna burn they're gonna they're gonna uh, the most high is gonna turn them into to powder, man. Okay, completely they're gonna be a, a cream cremated. They're gonna melt with fervent heat. So this ain't you know we ain't gotta worry about this too much longer, man. All right. And the Lord is uh, he, he, he's making his rounds and he's definitely sending these uh, these tokens, man, these signs. All right. He sends a dust storm right before a burning man festival. Come on, man. He's going to see he's about to sweep this place with the bees of destruction. That's what he's going to do. All right. So uh, anyway, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end off with that. And I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all by Shemiah Shiloh. Well, this was edifying. Until the next lesson, I say Shalom.